Seven, I want to say thank you guys for coming out here. My name is Nessa. I'm on every afternoon on Hot 97 from 3 to 7 p.m. Thank you for also watching me on MTV Girl Code and all the other different shows that I do on there. I really do do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I'm really excited because I do a lot of artist interviews. And a lot of times, a lot of them don't know how to have a conversation because they're stupid. That's the truth. But Tory Lanez is one of those artists that I really enjoy seeing all the time because he has great conversations, great insight, and he just likes to keep it 100 most of the time, which I love and I appreciate. All right, so New York, let's go ahead. Let's show some love for Tory Lanez. Yes, Tory Lanez, welcome. <laughs> Listen, it's always an honor to have an interview with you because you're just fun, you're honest and you have great conversations. So sure. we have a new album. Yes, August 19th, I, I told you. I'm sorry, I'm kind of high. It's, it's a foggy night, it's a foggy night. No one's judging you right now. <laughs> but now we're gonna play some of the songs off the album. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we're gonna do right now first. Okay, Phil, you ready, you good over there? Okay, so explain to us, because I thought it was really amazing what you were telling me earlier about this album and the whole concept behind it. Yeah, well, basically, and for everybody coming here, um, the album is not just an album because of the music is great and blah, blah, blah. The album is actually a movie. The album is played like a movie. I narrate it. Um, and basically, you go through the experience of what I was going through with me. This is the intro, and I'm going to let the five songs just play out, and y'all can kind of get your own feel for the story and... Everything else. American race, Canadian born. My name is Daystar Peterson. One day I'm gonna be the biggest artist in the whole world. As for right now though, the year is 2008. I'm 16 years old. This is where my story begins. Daystar, Daystar, I know you hear me calling you. D Daystar, open this door. You know what? I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm so sick of your disrespect. I don't know what the f to do. I, I, I'm tired. You don't cook. You don't clean. You don't do. All I've asked you to do was go get a job. You won't even go get a job. But you want to find yourself in the street hustling, thinking that going to pay off. It ain't going to pay off. It does not last. You're going to find yourself dead. Real? Oh, okay. So you, you mean to tell me that you think that street life gonna pay off for you? Boy, please. I'm just waiting to get the phone call for them to tell me to come down and identify your body. It ain't gonna last. And this music stuff. Go get a job. That's what you need. You need a job. I'm done. I'm sorry you lost your mom, but I can't take this no more. I want you to get your and get the out. I'm done with your get your get the out. I'm done. Get the it's the year 2008, I'm getting kicked up by the crib Said it kind of playing with them, I'm about to live Mama died, saved, yeah, my sister had to kill It was either feed the fam or get killed So it said, five of us putting up for one room Let Lord straight bugging, roaches on the ceiling, living room straight thugging Should've been left, but the trap stayed bumped yeah, yeah. Big yeah, that was the first Big record off the tape. That all, it sounded like three records, but it's that's the first song off the whole project. What? Uh, yeah, that's the first song. I thought that was the whole. I was like, all right, nah. I went through the whole emotion with you. Nah, no. nah, nah, nah. that's oh. the first song. But at my girl's house in the skit, and my man's come knocking on the door like, yo, my nigga, we gotta go to the party. My nigga, we gotta go flex. My nigga, my man just rented the drop top. Da 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 da. da. So I'm, I'm like, yo, all right, my nigga, shut the fuck up. I'm coming, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking to my girl like, yo, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be back. Blah blah blah. So uh, this record is already released. It just came out like last week. But um, basically at this point, it's just me and my mans and we about to go uh, to some shit or to some, to, to some type of function, like to type of party type shit. <laughs> T 
it I Go round and drop the top one Cause when the thought I wouldn't Did I Give to something what I did to you Why you frontin' on me Did I Hit the trap and now they're jumpin' Turnin' nothing into something Feelin' off the corner flexin' on a Good shorty, no I Came in from nothing I got the cops on me Being broke was the reason why all of these females would pass on me Now I pull up in the S550 and I dash on them And you know I don't spend any cash on them When I'm pulling up beside a thing, you know I do my thing And I drop the stop and all this in the way This is for the times I'm doing me You should know me Now you see the table turning my way So I gotta flex, I gotta flex, I gotta flex on you For all of the times when I was a mess And you try to flex on me too So I gotta flex and I gotta flex and Flexing on you too I know I'm wrong Tell me what I did to you I ain't never been to a party like that in my life, bro. Yo, the way we pulled up in that was crazy, bro. We had to park a lot on tilt. Anyways, yo, I know y'all about to ask me for a ride, bro. So you know, I'm gonna tell all y'all just straight up. Man. Five dollars gas. Nah, all nah, 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 not today. Bro. I'm not doing that today. Yep. Real talk, I need to got it on right there. Hey, yo, Tori. What? You gonna have to run me that ten though. For what? <laughs> Girl, she just lived way too far. Man. Nah, 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 nah. Come she on, man. Don't do that, Haiti. If you just lived on a block like everybody else, oh. my this wouldn't be a Gosh. problem. Yo, my, I'm not finna live in my girl's house forever, bro. Never. But for now, man, I'm doing this music. Music? I'm finna have. Man, I'm talking you money. Again, man, whatever, man. Again, That's what I was saying. I'm gonna have this music pop. But tonight, my girl, I'm getting active with the homies. I'm gonna put my music in, and that's what I'm finna listen to. I don't know if y'all heard the last skit, but basically, you know, we was talking, niggas just being niggas and shit. And, you know, my man's like, yo, you know, it's $5 gas, all of y'all. Tori, you owe me 10, your girl live too far, blah, blah, blah. Then boom, I'm like, yo, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, that, and the third, like, you know, fuck my girl. We ain't doing that tonight. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even going home. But that's that just how niggas be- That was the problem. But that's that how niggas be going. But this is, this is real life, though, and, and at the end of the day. This is this is this is what we do when y'all are not around. So it's sad to say that's how niggas be talking. You know what I'm saying? And if I was, guys, I'd be a relax, fake nigga. Guys. Hold on, guys. Sit but, down. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time Facts. out. But I would be a fake nigga to lie and tell you that that's not what we're doing. You feel me? So it's either I give you the harsh reality and you accept it, or, or I just lie to you and you know you feel great for the temporary moment. You don't Facts. want that. So, Look at all the guys excited in here. Go ahead, go ahead, give them a round of applause saying. for nah, being on. No, no, it ain't even right? worth that. Hold on, hold on. Look at the guys. They happy right now. Look at them. <laughs> nah, it wasn't even, it wasn't even a, a guy moment. I, I'm just saying. So this is my thing. This is my thing. At this point, I'm like, yo, you know, fuck my girl. I'm not going over there. Da 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 da. Just listen to my music. So I play this song, whatever the case is. Coming out of this skit, it's me and my man, and we talking. So just play it from where I told you to pause it at. It's just me and my man in the car, we just talking, he listening to my song. And this is like the end of it when the song is over and shit. Damn. I ain't even gonna lie. It was cold. Nah, you done no fun. It's just one of them situations where it's like, I know I can get my music off the ground, dog. It's just touch of money, P. Yeah, yeah. If I get that, I know I can get that. Hey, yo, fam. I got this flex. What's up? It's in the east end. Finna ride this Chino crib. Chino? Yeah. Chino crib. Now how you expect us to pull that off, dog? Why not? I've been watching this crib for like four weeks now. You go to sleep every night at one. So we gonna run up in that round two. Now you think she'll be good by three. As long as I can get back to my girl crib around like four, she like, stayed with her. Shit is cold or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I just, I know I can make it in music. I just got to do something to get some money. Cause you know what I'm saying? That's the only way I'm gonna get the shit off the ground. 
So he like, yo, I got this flex. He like, it's in the East End. He go, we gonna rob this nigga named Chino Crib. So I'm like, Chino Crib? He like, yeah, Chino Crib. He like, yo, look. I'm like, how you expect us to pull this off? He like, the nigga go to sleep around one. So we gonna go in there around two, get out of there by three, and we should be good. So I'm like, as long as I can get back to my girl crib by like four, cause she live with her mom, and they both be tripping. You feel me? Yeah. So, and then, so this next song is called 4 a.m. Flex. So it's basically talking about like, I'm kind of basically saying I'm in the, you know, the action of doing what I'm doing, but I'm trying to get back over there because it's way too late at this point. You know what I'm saying? So. How you feel about it? Coming through on the 4 a.m. flex, shorty. We came down off a mission, now it's time for the 4 a.m. flex, shorty. Leg around two, did a mission, round three, with the 4 a.m. flex, shorty. I'm on my way right now, on this 4 a.m. flex, yeah. You don't like flop, I don't like. We on some same, I hit that smoke with you, I pour that 4 with you. You on the low, well, yeah, I'm on the lowish. Pick up and go get you. I might just trust you enough to leave all of my drugs and leave all of my dough with you. I'll leave it all around for him. I just hit you up for the 4 a.m. flex now. Riding down the west end, shawty, and I'm about to make the left right now. She live in Driftwood. All of her family for sure. She know to read if the lick good. Shorty gon' stick to the program. I never done it. Shut up, you gon' wait this up. Hey, I'm trying. Basically, we in the house and we trying to get out the house because we robbing in the crib or whatever the case is. So we trying to get out the house, you feel me? So, boom. on your own time like you'll be able to really hear everything on you know and you can hear the details and all that shit but basically when we coming out of the house or whatever we run into the car boom we get into the car we like yo run to the car my nigga the nigga starting the shit he's driving the shit as we driving away the nigga's bucking at the car bap 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 you feel me as we bucking boom one shit go through the windshield graze my man's shoulder and his arm you feel me so boom so this song right here that just happened is basically i'm explaining what happened so I know it's kind of muffled and shit, but basically like the first couple of lines is, me and my homie pull off the corner inside of an old Honda Accord, the feeling felt like a torture. The nigga that we just robbed just popped one in his shoulder. It led to me pulling over to check him and tell him, dog, take the passenger seat and I hit the road cause it's way too many police out here to feel like we low. My back windshield broken, the driver's seat soaked from the blood that was previously leaking from his coat. We switched sides while I put the shit to drive at 80 some odd miles, I'm shifting the gear to five. Hoping that the five old pigs don't see the ride, cause normally I ain't scared. Tonight is fair, my eyes. My girl clinging, cause my, no, hold on. My girl, my phone ringing, cause my girl at home clinging and unaware of the problem this night on the road bringing. Then I pick up the phone and tell her I'm speeding home as soon as I drop my dog at the emergency room. Play the skit. Yo, stop the car, bro. What? Yo, yo, bug. Pull over, bro. For what, bro? The hospital's right up the block. Just... That I'm good, bro. So, so, so what you want me to do, bro? Drop you on this corner? Bro, just, bro, just pull up right here. So you bugging. Good, bro. I got a spot around the corner. Let's 
get home, bro. Shot one. Or whatever the case is, as out of that story, and I'm like, I gotta drop my dog at the emergency room. So my man in the seat, he like, yo, drive me right here, and I'm like, yo, my nigga, just chill the fuck out. The hospital's right up the block. He like, yo, nah, I'm good, nigga, just, just chill. So I'm like, what do you want me to do? Drop you right here on the fucking corner? He like, yo, just pull up right here. I got a little spot around the corner. So I dropped the nigga off. You feel me? After I drop him off, then um, after I drop him off, then it, it ends up being one of those situations where I'm like, I'm trying to you know, get back to my girl. So now I'm looking for my phone in the car. I'm like, what the fuck's my phone? Boom. I get on the phone. I'm like, yo, like, I'm like on everything. Like, you know, you just call your girl. You can't even wait for her to say something because you know you about to get blazed. So you, so you just say, oh, you just try to say your piece real quick. Like before she said, she like, so she, you know, she answered the phone. Hello. I, yo, yo, on everything. I'm coming in right now. I swear, like I'm on my way right now. <laughs> I'm on my way right now. You heard? <laughs> so, so boom. So boom. Like, um, at this point, I'm telling her, yo, I'm, sp I'm speeding to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's five songs right there. But I want to do one last thing. I want to do one special thing, OK? Because I do want them to, to, to hear one thing. Go play, play this from, let's get this that. Play it from track, play it from high. Just play it from the end of high. I want them to just hear the skit, and then they could just It's like, nah, it's like the very end of high. <laughs> like, like a minute left. So basically, um, in this skit, this is like when, you know, we went to go do all that shit on that, on that side, on the east side. We went to go rob the nigga crib, right? So this is my OG, my OG calling me like. Yo, what's up, bro? Yo, Fargo. What's up, Bill? Yo, I need you to pull up to the set ASAP. I'm on my shorty right now, though. I can't call you back. Uh, yes. Nah, that's gonna have to wait. You remember that house I hit up on the east side? Yeah, Chino crib. What about it? Yeah, we came to the block, shot the little homie up. So we need you to pull up to the set right now. What does that have to do with you? Like, Look, bro. Can they do anything on their own? Wasn't trying to make nobody get her out. The we went to the house, dog. We hit the house. The Go right, my. I got out of it one time. I told y'all to try and do this music. Why well, the bring myself right back into this? Music. New music. Just hang Look, on. Look, you either pull up to the block, come see us, or we gonna come see you. You choose. Nah, you ain't going nowhere. You're not like you're not. And I gotta go. A lot of young black men. A lot of the times, we be trying to do the right thing. It's the niggas in the environment around us that suck us back into the problem. You feel me? So it's like, this is one of those situations where at this point I'm forced to, to handle something because it came from the retaliation of something that I did. You know what I mean? So every action has a reaction. All right, they one block over. Street to the left, the house to the left. We get over here, we gonna lay down. Oh yeah, and you two in the back, y'all better be shooting. Fargo, you ready? All right, let's get it. Stop right here. Hey, set. Like, yo, one block over, house to the left. Da da. When we go out there, ah uh, ah, uh, pull up, shit happens. Boom. After that, we in the car and I'm driving off and I'm like, yo, y'all niggas good? And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, we good. Ah uh, ah. Uh, and I'm like, yo, um, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, nigga, we got them niggas, but. Y'all can't tell me y'all don't feel some type of way about this shit, like, you feel me? And the niggas around me is just like, nigga, fuck that shit. Fuck them niggas, my niggas. <laughs> fuck them. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, nah, see, that's the problem. Like, I love the set just as much as y'all do. Like, I love the gang. I love the family just as much as y'all do. But at some point, I had to leave the shit alone. And then basically, you know, story going into all kinds of shit. <laughs> all kinds. It's, it's a crazy long story, but it, 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 it goes all the way up to date with where I'm at, literally sitting right here. 
So like, it's a dope ass long story that you gotta listen to on your own time. And you know, in order to hear the, the story um, and the movie just play out, you have to listen to the tape straight front to back. You can't skip. You can skip if you wanna just listen to the songs. Every song starts at the one, you still get your songs. But if you wanna hear the story, you have two ways of doing it. Either skip and listen to music or just go through it and listen to the whole story. It's a lot of shooting. There's a lot going on, Tori. I, listen, I like it. You know what? We were just talking. Again, Hot 97, Listening Lounge right now with Tori Lanes. I'm Nessa. Your album, I told you, out August 19th. Let's yes. make sure we put the business out August there. August 19th. Okay, so when we're listening to the album, right, and I was like asking you, so who picked the beats out? You said you produced the beats. Yeah, I, a lot of these beats on my album are produced by me, uh, Play Picasso, and Happy. This dude named Happy Perez. Really, uh, uh, you know, Benny Blanco is who signed me, and he's also a producer. He, he produced Love and, you know, records like that. Right. But on this tape specifically, it was more of like a, just a me kind of guiding the whole way of the production of everything. And there's no know? features. No features. All of that was me, all them high voices, deep voices, low voices, you know, all those sounds, all those, that's all me. And that, that's the reason why I didn't want to have nobody on this tape because I didn't want anybody to look at it and be like, yo, well, he had such and such and that's why his was fired. Nah, I want y'all to be like, yo, this was so fire. Oh, there's no way he did all those voices. Yeah. It's no way that like, it's no way that like, he sang that and rapped that. I want them to feel that way, you know, so. You're excited. I'm very excited. This is, when you said that, you know, when you're hearing the whole album and we're hearing the skits and you're at this point in your life, did you picture this right now? You were just like, all right, music is it. I'm not dealing with that. I don't want to be in that yeah, world. Of course, at some point in time, you know, yeah, shit has to stop. Like, that's the, that's the thing. Like, we all, we all do things in life. That's just, how, that's the, the path that, you know, life takes a lot of us. But at the same time, like, at some point, I just had a bigger calling, and I always knew I had a bigger calling. So it's just certain things I just never allowed myself to fall all the way into. Mm -hmm. Like, I got in a lot of trouble when my mom died. Of course, nigga, I was like 11, you feel me? And after that, my life was kind of messed up for the next couple of years. So I was a troublemaker. I got into a lot of problems. But at the same time, like, at some point in time, like, this shit has to stop. I mean, you got to grow up. You got to do something, and you got to, you know, chase something. And I wanted this more than I wanted that. Yeah. So. When we're hearing that and we're hearing you living with your girl, is this real life? This is something that you went through? Yeah, this is like I was really going through that. Like I was living with my girl and like I was, she was really sneaking me in the crib every day. Like on some funny shit, I was really hiding under the bed, jumping in the closet when her mom was my coming God. around. Six o'clock in the morning, her mom knocking on the door for like tampons and shit. I'm jumping under the bed, <laughs> I'm scared. I'm, I'm like, yo, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So her mom didn't really know you were there. Bitch, I believe every mom knows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, every mom knows. They just try to play oblivious, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like one of those situations where I was there so much in the daytime and stuff that it's like, I mean, she kind of knew, but at the end of the day, it was kind of like still under rally. She didn't fully know. Right. You know, like not enough to come, come barge in on me or something. He's in here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. so what happened with that? It seemed like she was so down for you. She was trying to keep you out of trouble. What happened, man? She left me. Why? August 19th, I told you. <laughs> August 19th, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I told you that, that all of it's in the story, you know what I'm saying? And part of it is the same reason why y'all was looking at me funny earlier when I said the statement is because niggas is niggas sometimes. You know? It'd be like that. It really do. It'd be like that. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Now, don't get me wrong. When I, I don't, I'm not saying all men are the same. No, 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 we all have, we all have the same tendencies, but we're not all the same per person. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like, there's just different things I'm gonna do differently. Like a nigga, like I just feel like, exactly. But I, we we don't exactly. talk to those kind. You know, for me, the ones that don't grow. Yeah, no like thanks. you know, I want to be the best, the best me that I can be at all times. Not every guy is like that. Like me. Right. If I right. walk down the street, I want to be the best nigga walking down the street. Nigga, I don't want no nigga to be better than me. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, nah, real talk. Like, that's just me. I don't want nobody to be to to be better than me, unless you like my my friends and my family or somebody that's on the team. As a man, that's just how I feel. I'm an alpha male, you know. But not every guy is like that. Some people have different personalities and they look at the situation differently. So, are you guys 
cool though after all these years and i'm sure she's really happy for you for <laughs> nah, it, nah. Nah, she left no, me for good. No, she's probably done. <laughs> yeah, she left me for good. She's man, not so. trying to get back. I'm going to stand up first. She's not trying to get back. No. Nah, she's not. Sorry. Nah, she left me for good. Good. <laughs> so I, in, in the song Flex, you talked about, you know, that the reason a lot of girls passed up on you was because you were broke and now they're yeah. coming back around because of you're course. good. Is that... Yeah, it is was this never happening off, right now? Yeah, it was never off the looks. Like it was never like a yo back then. No, didn't want me now. I'm hot. Like I still always got girls. It was just one, I didn't get as many girls, <laughs> you know. And it, I didn't get nah. And I'm not trying to sound cocky. I just didn't have that story. Like the damn, the girls didn't like me. The girls loved me. Like yeah. I was one of the niggas. Like, I used to come to it the crazy Gosh. buck teeth smile. They loved me. Yeah. It, it, it used to work. You know what I'm saying? But that was just me. Like I, I, I feel like a lot of the situation now is. Of course, you got clout, you got a name, you got a name for yourself. Women love ambition, and I'm a very ambitious person. Right. You know, um, I set a standard for myself, just even at 24, I set, a, I set a standard for myself that's like where a 35-year-old or a 40-year-old is going to, you know, set these standards. You know, like I, I do bigger things because that's where I see myself, but I do them early because I can already see myself there, Dang. you know? That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Now let's talk a little bit because you know the ladies want to know: Are you in a relationship right now? Nah. Nah. Did you just say thank God? Wow. Nah, no at least you're at least you're honest. I love you for being honest. <laughs> okay. So now we do have some questions from your fans over here. This one is from Janelle in Queens. Where's Janelle? Hi, Janelle. Okay, so do you consider yourself a singer before a rapper, and why? No, um, I'm just an artist. I make music. I make music that makes me feel good, and you know, I, I, I just, you know, I try to cater to myself and hope that it caters to you. You know. Now, when, what do you write more in, like rapper, like feel or singer feel? Do you get what I mean? Like, like when you start immediately thinking of music or you just don't know, it just nah, it's happens, what, Honestly, like, it, it's really the, like, I'm such a musical person, like, it's really the beat that's, that's given to me. Like, if someone's sitting there and they playing the guitar, I'm gonna give them exactly what the guitar telling me, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and, and that's, I think, what kind of makes it a little bit easier for me because I've, I've kind of learned that craft, yeah. you know, to like give you whatever the beat is. So if the beat influenced me to rap right away, then I'm gonna rap on it. If it influenced me to sing right away, I'm going to you know, come with a melodic approach. What's your favorite song on the album? And this is from Vanessa. We have similar names from the Bronx. Where's Vanessa at? Somewhere over, over the... Okay. All right. <laughs> Vanessa from the Bronx is asking, what's your favorite song on the album? Um, I got this song called... Actually, I think... I, lo I love the intro. The intro is probably one of my favorite uh, songs on the album. But also, there's this song called Question Is. It's like real, real, real deep. You know, talk about like all kinds of stuff that like I don't normally talk about. But I, I allowed myself to be completely like vulnerable and honest about the way I feel about a lot of situations. So question is, is a dope record too. Okay. Jasenia from Brooklyn, have you ever been in a threesome? What kind of question is that? This Come on, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> it was your birthday last week, right? Nah, it wasn't one of those situations. Okay. I don't think, you know what I'm saying? It was crazy. <laughs> I had got the threesome before all this. Like, just on some talking, I just was a good talker. You oh know my what I'm saying? I was very confident, and I'm a good talker. <laughs> all right, now this is from Shanika from Brooklyn. How will you contribute to the black community? Will you use your voice to speak on the injustice we face daily, especially black men? Um, of course, You're welcome. at the end of the day, I feel like I can only do my piece through music. At the end of the day, like, I think sometimes uh, we may switch the role in things that we do, not to say that everybody can't do everything, but some things need to be left to certain people. Mm -hmm. I'm a musician, I can rap, I can do my best as far as music to say, yo, look, stop the violence, stop the ah, 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 ah. But it's the people in the street that have to do things. It's the it's the it's the cops that gotta change shit. It's right. It's yes. just people that you know what I'm saying. And for me personally, like I don't really know if I'm really the right person to speak on it because like my views of things are, are, are a little different. You know what I mean? So for me, I I would I would have of course like to say if I'm, I'm gonna make music to uphold people and uplift the generation and uplift our community. 
I mean, I'm black too. You know what I Absolutely. mean? Like, of course. Got it. This is Carlos from Brooklyn. Where's Carlos? Brooklyn. I heard you some, oh, back there. All right, Carlos, this is, is the six big enough for the both of you? And put asterisks, <laughs> Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Toronto hey, hey. Is, a, is a city, of course, it's big enough for the two of us. First place isn't. Yeah. And that's for everybody. Just, you know what I mean? First place is, we all want to be first place. Doesn't matter who I you are. I love you too, baby. Oh, with the baby. <laughs> all right, so let me get one more. And I think this is for a lot of people that are just starting to discover you. This is from Barry from, I think I said it, right, Barry? Because your writing's off. Barry from Jersey. How did you get discovered? Um, I don't even know. It was like really, <laughs> nah, it was like really weird because I, I, I had worked for like a year just in a, like a basement little studio that I was like sleeping on the floor in and I was getting up and recording myself for like a year, putting stuff on YouTube. And then one day I got a call from Justin Bieber and Sean Kingston and they wanted to sign me when I was like 18. And then? And, and I signed to them. Like when I was 18 for a three year deal, I got out of that. And once I got out of that, I was like independent for two years. So I kind of had to start from the bottom again, but I had a little bit of a core fan base, but I used that core fan base that I had and we just kept building. You know what I mean? Like it, two people told four people, four people told eight, you know, eight told 16. Mm. My math was just like, yeah, was, I was so making was sure like, I was like, da, 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 da. <laughs> you know, I didn't even really know if I was right on the last one. I was like eight and eight, 16. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited for you. Tory Lanez, your album, I Told You Out, August yeah, 19th. August 19th. Are you nervous? Not really. I mean, I, I don't really expect much from it. Like, I'm not expecting some crazy sales or stuff like that. I just know as soon as the music touches down and you get to hear for what it is, I just know the placement of where I'm sitting mm -hmm. is going to be different. Where, where are you going to be? I'm just curious, August 19th. Are you going to be home? Are you going to be on? I don't know. I don't know. I I'm try curious. to go home all the time, and then I just immediately have something else to do. Yeah. So I hope I'm home. Man, this is, listen, I'm excited for you. And the times that we've talked, you've always been a great guy. Don't change on us, because if you I try don't. to get Hollywood or something, don't get funny style Not on me. us. And how's Charlie? How's your dog doing? He's great. Oh, my gosh. You remember my dog? This of course is I remember. He had his uh, dog at the BET Awards. Like, it, it's so cute. How's <laughs> nah, he's Charlie? great. He's in L.A. I got to go pick him up, because tour is about to start, and he comes with me on every tour. So, yeah. So cute. Look at all the women. They're like, oh, my God, I'll take care of your dog for you. <laughs> well, Tori Lanes, thank you so much for coming, thank hanging so out much. with us. Hi 97. Thank you to everybody. We absolutely appreciate you, SOBs, Josh. All right, you guys, have a great night.